like y'all check it out. I should have been done this, but I didn't. You can hear the air already. My wife went in and got a flat. Let me scoot on back. I'm gonna show y'all how to change this flat right quick. What you wanna do is uh safety first. <laughs> Cleanliness next. See what I did was I ranked this towel. And then I took some any kind of soap and I took that and you spray them on there. Well, you see, and you, I got too much coming out now. I found some leak furs all oh, man. Let's see here. See here? What a half meal. You spray that on, and bubbles will come out. But I've already done that. I've already done that. Now you're going to take your little vice grip. What is this she run over? I told her like she run over somebody's face. Say yay little two here. Now this is gonna save you a couple of dollars at the Mexican shop. You know, you don't wanna be spending all your money going getting a tie down when you do it. See, you get a little kit. You take this T handle, you stick them in there. See that? And you go ream that hole. Cram it, ream it, all that same time. <laughs> And I got this bulldog kit. I'm gonna get this set up, then I'm gonna come back to you there. Okay, like I said, go. You wanna rough it up? Priming it in and everything right now. Pull them out. I pre-threaded the thread jump to his other teeth. Put him in the hole. Can you see it? Trying to get it somewhat flush. Still can see it. Can't not. I don't know. Can can I can I scan you in a little bit though? Okay. Okay. See I'm kind of flush. Now what you want to do is you want to yank this out of there. Like that. Aww. All right. Wait a minute now. There we go. Take your little knife and knife him. And you want to make this flush. You don't want none of it hanging on. Because what could possibly happen when it's hanging on, it can catch dirt and rocks in the street and it can yank it right out of your tie. Because it's sticky a little bit, a little tack to it. So you want to cut them off flush. But since mine is inside the groove, I'm gonna cut him down a little lower than the groove. All right, look at that there. Check for leak. We ain't got no bubbles. That means no more leak. Now I'm going to get you set up for some air pressure, all right? All right. Got my little slime tool ready though. Check that pressure. My air thing got a pressure gauge on, but I don't trust it. She trusts it.
I just use that as like a benchmark. I'm like, well, it's close, but then we use my little tool right there to see what's going on. We're gonna put about 40 PSI up in there. And we're gonna call it a day. So. Neighbors jogging. 